Hello everyone, in today's serial now, we're taking a closer look at the JBL Grip Bluetooth speaker. Compact at just 2.52 by 6 by 2.56 inches and weighing only 385 grams, it's built to be a portable, stylish, budget-friendly alternative to the Flip series. Now join me as we take a look at the JBL Grip. First into the teardown, we're removing the grill. It features the same durable fabric and the iconic JBL logo right in the center. You'll also notice the built-in play button along with the volume up and down control. Now we're moving on to the LED and charging cover. To take it off, we'll remove 8 screws. Once that's done, we'll gently pry the cover away and carefully disconnect the two ribbon cables underneath. Now that we got the previous part off, let's move on to the charging board. We'll remove it by taking out two screws. This board includes a USB-C charging port that supports faster charging that is perfect for keeping your speaker power up quickly. Next, we'll take off the LED board by removing four screws. This board features 16 LEDs to add a layer of personality, helping this JBL compact speaker stand out from the crowd. It also includes a button to let you cycle through different ambient light themes, giving you that personalized touch. Next, we'll remove three screws to take off the rope loop. This loop acts as a strap making it easy to carry, hang, or attach a speaker to a bag or bike. It's a subtle yet practical feature that fits perfectly with the speaker grab and go design. Next, we'll remove the heat sink by taking off four screws. This heat sink helps dissipate heat from the internal amplifier and power circuitry, allowing the speakers to maintain performance during extended playback at a higher volume. These features make the grip stand out among similar size speakers, which often rely solely on passive enclosure for heat dissipation. Next, we'll carefully pry out the battery and disconnect it from the motherboard. This is a 3.85 volt, 2600 mAh lithium ion polymer battery pack. Perfectly suited for compact and regular spaces like the Grip's sleek vertical design. It can power the speaker up to 2 hours on a single charge and up to 14 hours when playtime boost is enabled. A full recharge takes just 3 hours, making it both efficient and convenient for everyday use. Next, we'll remove the end cap by gently prying them off. One of these caps houses the control board. To access it, we'll remove three screws. This board includes three buttons for power, Bluetooth, and AuraCast, plus a battery indicator that shows you when the battery is low or when the speaker is charging. Next, we'll remove the full range racetrack driver by taking out four screws.
Once the driver is out, we'll slide out the motherboard to disconnect its connector. Here's the motherboard, which is the brain of the speaker. It features Bluetooth 5.4 for faster and more stable connection, deliver up to 16 watts of RMS power, and support JBL's AuraCast technology. Plus, it's fully compatible with the JBL portable app, giving you access to firmware updates, EQ settings, light configuration, and more. And here we have the racetrack driver, measuring 43 by 80 millimeter. It delivers 16 watts of RMS power, which is impressive for a speaker this size. Combined with a two passive radiator, the grip packs a punch, producing surprisingly loud and dynamic sound for such a compact design. Last but not least, we have the enclosure. There's a button here, but it's securely glued in place, so we'll leave it alone for now. On each side of the speaker, you'll find a passive radiator, which help enhance the low-end performance and give the grip its surprisingly rich base for such a compact design. And that wraps up the full teardown of the JBL grip. If you're new to the channel, be sure to hit that subscribe button so you don't miss out on any of my upcoming teardown videos. And to all my returning subscribers, thank you so much for supporting the channel. I appreciate all you guys. Thank you so much and I'll see you on the next one.